The People's Republic of China is feeling the heat of international backlash in the aftermath of the coronavirus pandemic, and it is seeking new avenues to gain leverage over countries that have crossed its way. Now, according to a report in the South China Morning Post, the super intellectual advisors of the Politburo of the CCP have suggested that Xi Jinping regime should cut the USA's access to medicines exported from the Middle Kingdom. The USA is heavily reliant, for now, on imported medicines from China, thanks to the large-scale offshoring of the 1990s. Last year, about 40% of antibiotics imported to the US came from China, including 90% of chloramphenicol, 93% of tetracyclines, and 52% of penicillin, according to data from the US International Trade Commission. Many of the key ingredients for antibiotics are no longer produced in the country, with the last American-based producer of penicillin ingredients shutting down in 2004. As a result, the Chinese government advisors have suggested that bleeding America dry by cutting its pharmaceutical line is the best way to gain an advantage over the US and send a message to the world that Beijing is still very much a dominating figure in the game of influence. However, the move, if implemented, will be the most absurd step taken by the Xi Jinping regime in recent memory. When in April, Beijing insinuated that it was trying to pull out of the Phase 1 deal, the US President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had given the paper dragon an earful and forced the Chinese to meekly go back into hiding. Cutting pharmaceutical supply will result in America once again waging the trade war on China, of which the Chinese do not have very good memories. Secondly, the step could be disastrous in the sense that all the US behemoth pharmaceutical companies will pull the plug on their Chinese activities and move back to the US. Sure, this might be an initial advantage to the Chinese who would have massaged their bruised egos by now, but in the long run, the factories and the localities of Chinese villages where these factories are located will be the ones ruining the vanished opportunities. Rachna Shah, an associate professor in the supply chain and operations department of the University of Minnesota, has said, It will take some time, but in the long term, we will be okay, because the US has the capital and the research and development capability. She added, If the US decides that China is going to play a hardball or use the nuclear option, I think the government could politically switch to bringing back manufacturing. Also, several companies are already packing their bags and moving out of China in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic as there has been a massive gap in the supply chain. Countries like Japan are incentivizing companies to jump off the sinking boat that is China and move on to cheaper manufacturing hubs like India, Bangladesh and Vietnam. Thinking of giving up the biggest market of pharmaceuticals in normal circumstances was a nonsensical idea itself, but in COVID times, this idea seems preposterous to say the least. Xi Yinhong, an international relations professor at China's Renmin University and an advisor to the state council, has said, This suggestion doesn't make much sense. It will fail to help China retaliate against the US. It will also ratchet up efforts to further block China's high-tech companies. And finally, picking on the last strand of the third point, the Union Government of India led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi wants to be the next global manufacturing hub and the engine of world growth. Behind India's brilliant diplomacy and renewed stress on the Indo-Pacific strategy, New Delhi has a single aim of occupying the space that China once occupied. And one of India's leading manufacturing sectors is the pharmaceutical sector in which India already enjoys a huge advantage over China. It must be kept in mind that though India is a supplier of finished drugs to many countries, drug manufacturers import 70% of their API needs from China. API here is active pharmaceutical ingredient which is crucial for manufacturing of medicines. Such over-dependence on China is both dangerous and unsustainable. Therefore, the Modi government is trying to cut dependence on China when it comes to the active pharma ingredient in line with Prime Minister Modi's Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign. 
In a related report, the print has stated that the Modi government is likely to announce the final guidelines for its production-linked incentive scheme worth Rs 6,940 crore, which is meant to augment domestic production of the API. The fact that China has come up with such ludicrous ideas should be reason enough for a layman to understand the gargantuan pressure that Beijing is under currently. Xi Jinping and his authoritarian communist regime is trying hard to find some new pastures to ascertain its dominance, but the new world order is ready to kill the monopoly of China and therefore the leverage it once enjoyed has blown up into a cloud of smoke.